Big Mike here with He's Entertainment. Today's episode, we got NHL top prospect Brad Lambert out of Finland. If you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. This guy's a beauty. Brad Lambert, Team Finland, and I'm coming on. I only touch greatness podcast. Looking for the most beers on tap? Great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B. Pub. We got the best beers, steaks, chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B. Pub. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, St. You. Saddle, the number one sports podcast in Vancouver with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. I never stop. I only touch greatness podcast. I'm good. How are you guys? Good, thank you. So I'm thank Ryan, you by the way. I'm Ryan, by the way. I'm the one you've been talking to, and uh, we're yeah. joined with Big Mike. Hey, hey, Brad. Thank you very much uh, hey. for taking the time for us today. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Hey, Mike. Yeah. So, uh, born in Finland. Uh, what was childhood like, and uh, when did you start playing hockey? Uh, all childhood was obviously basically just hockey and school and stuff. So, uh, it's, it's great here. I mean, uh, you get to play at a lot of different levels and like, uh, in the same year. So like I could play under 16, under 18 and under twenties in the same year. So it was really good. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, you got the opportunity this year to play on a lot of different teams. That's kind of unique too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And do you play any other sports while you were growing up? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I played everything, but, uh, like, uh, competition-wise, I played soccer and basketball for a while, too. But uh, at about, uh, I'd say, 10, I quit and uh, just put all my time into hockey, I guess. Well, you definitely made the right decision. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your favorite jersey number and why? Uh, I like 92. I, I actually don't know why, just uh, just the way it looks, I think. And uh, I've always always liked the number nine, and uh, then I just picked number 92. I'm not sure why. I like it. It's kind of a unique number, and I, I don't know. I'm thinking on the top of my head, is it uh, Kuznetsov has 92, right? Yeah, yeah, he wears it. He wears it pretty good. So, yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. It's, I like the number. Okay. And uh, what do you see yourself accomplishing in the next five to ten years? Next five to ten years? I mean, obviously, the goal is to play in the NHL, but uh, 
I don't like to look look that far ahead. I mean, I think uh, just need to go day by day. Just try to improve as much as you can every day, and uh, I think that's the that's the best way to accomplish any goals that you have. And we know we're going to see a bunch of more times in the World Juniors and the World Championships. There's a bunch of yeah. tournaments that everybody's going to see you in over the next couple of years. Yeah, hopefully for sure. Yeah. What was it like uh, representing your country at the World Juniors this year as an underager? It was awesome. I mean, uh, we had a really, really good group of guys there and a great, great team atmosphere. So uh, it was a really good tournament and uh, good, good that we got to bring something home too with us. Yeah, That's for sure. And uh, how cold was Edmonton for you? Because you guys were in the bubble, but did you find it cold? Uh, can you repeat that, please? Um, how cold was Edmonton? Because you were in the bubble, and cool. did you enjoy? Did, yeah, did you enjoy the city? Uh, I mean, we were uh, in the hotel right next to the rink, oh. and uh, there was like a tunnel that took us to the rink. So we never really actually got to see see the city or see outside. So, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so uh, it was it was it was pretty weird actually because like uh, for the first I'd say like ten days we never got any fresh air and then uh, finally they opened up the balcony for us and so we could just go out there for ten or fifteen minutes each day and get some fresh air so that was That's nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, the balcony was actually it was freezing. It was like I think it was minus twenty or whatever. So yeah. You must get that cold over in Finland sometimes, right? Yeah, actually, the past few winters have been pretty cold here too. It's uh, this winter was just like minus twenty, minus ten. But usually, most winters it's about minus five. Okay. <coughs> That's yeah. Like so, uh, That's like Vancouver, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Very it's, similar. It's, it's not bad. It's perfect outdoor rink weather. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, weren't, you, you, you weren't missing much sitting in the hotel. Uh, Edmonton Scott doesn't have very much. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. that's good. And it looks like you guys are having some nice days in Finland these days. Oh yeah, very nice. I mean, perfect weather. I was just just out on the boat boat earlier today, so uh, yeah, it's it's fun. Yeah, we were talking about that. We we thought maybe awesome. we were, we were going. Uh, who do you meet your game after? Try and play like. I think he got both questions at one time there. I was gonna say, Sorry, we, you, you cut out there a bit. Yeah, I think we gave you two questions at the same time. But yeah, you cut out there. I can't really hear you. Okay. Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, who do you mirror your game after or try and play like? Oh, uh, I'd say uh, Matt Barzell or Nathan McKinnon. I mean, uh, just the way they skate and hit holes and drive the play with their speed and make stuff happen every shift. I mean, I, I think that's something I definitely try to pick up after them. Okay, and we love we love Matt Barzell because he's from our hometown. So, oh yeah, yeah, we, he grew up a couple blocks away, so we love that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's 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 a great player. All right. Um, what's one of your weaknesses, and how do you look to improve on it? I'd say right now my strength uh, playing against men this year it was a lot, a lot tougher to battle in the co corners, and uh, so that's definitely something I, I'm looking to improve on this summer, and uh, just to get stronger and bigger, so win more one-on-one -on -one battles and get to play with the puck more that way. So, yeah. Any uh, pregame rituals? or routines for you? Uh, not really, no. I mean, I like to tape my stick at the same time each game and uh, usually do the same type of warm-up, play a little bit of soccer and then just uh, get my legs going a bit, but uh, not not too many things, no. Uh, what strengths do you think make a good athlete? Uh, I think discipline and uh, commitment. I mean, uh, just working hard every day, and uh, even on days where you maybe maybe don't feel like it, uh, just pushing through and uh, wanting to get better. I think that's a big big thing. <clears throat> What's your favorite road barn or favorite stadium you've played in so far? My favorite stadium. 
Oh, I have to say Roger, Roger's place. I mean, there's nothing like it uh, here in Finland. It was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's just like a regular building here in Canada because they're all, all, <laughs> all the stadiums are that awesome, probably. Yeah, I mean that's that's the only NHL rink I've ever played in, so uh, it was pretty cool. If you could sit down for dinner with anyone famous, dead or alive, who would you choose? Uh, that's a tough one, but uh, I'll probably have to go with Michael Jordan. I watched uh, I watched Last Dance. I think it was last summer when I watched it. I thought it was thought it was a pretty good pretty good show. So yeah, I definitely would like to talk to him. Okay. Uh, who would you say the best player you've played with and against is? Wow, well, tough question. Uh, best player I played with. Uh, I'd oh, I'd have to go with uh, Anton Lindell. Good choice. I mean, he's he's a great leader and a great player and. Uh, so yeah, it was definitely probably him and uh, best player I played against. I don't know there was so many good players in the World Juniors uh, for Team Canada, Team USA. So probably one of those guys. I mean, uh, yeah. what do they have? Like twenty first round picks or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess you could, you could almost say any one of those. So uh, yeah, those guys probably. When, what are your thoughts being known as a top prospect? Uh, I mean, I guess that's just where you want to be at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. At this point, and uh, just, you know, keep working hard. And uh, every day, like I said, just try go go to the rink and try to get better. And, uh, you know, hopefully in a few years, uh, they'll still be there now. So uh, I think you can't think about it much but uh you all obviously uh it brings you some motivation and you know you just want to work hard and get better every day good answer yeah absolutely <laughs> uh what's your go-to selly my go-to selly <laughs> oh wow um i don't know i don't really i don't really have a go-to selly i mean just <laughs> do anything where you score or just <laughs> depends what you feel like yep Okay. If you had to sing one karaoke song, if you had to sing what? one karaoke, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, if you had to sing one karaoke song in the bar or in front of your teammates, what song are you choosing? Yeah, I don't go to bars, so I think it would be yeah. in front of my teammates. Uh, what song? Can I check? Yeah. Uh, here, just a sec. I, uh, I think it would be country. I like country. it. I like it. Yeah, that's my that's my style. I like it. Uh, let's see. Maybe American country love song. Okay, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, being from Finland, I'm sure you've heard this before. Asked been asked this before, but have have you ever worked with the Finnish Flash at all, or trained with him at all? Uh, no, I haven't. But actually, uh. We did in 2000, uh, 2018, I think, uh, he had this uh, camp where he invited uh, a bunch of 03 players from Finland. And uh, so I went there and uh, he, he took us on his boat and stuff. So that was pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was pretty sick. That's what we. I was trying to say earlier. There, as we thought you might be our first interview live from the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I, I came home for that. Okay, thank you, well, thank you, of course. And uh, yeah. have you tried? Have you have you tried the uh, Michigan or lacrosse goal in a game yet? No, I haven't, but I've definitely done it many times in practice. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I'll definitely have to try it if I get an opportunity if if you were an animal what would you be an animal uh question probably a lion okay 
because of maybe because of, uh, of its ment- mentality and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, Finnish national team, I guess, for Lions. So I think it goes pretty good. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I and I always go with a dolphin because I got a big ass forehead and, uh, <laughs> and, and no hair and nose. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's your uh, biggest hockey uh, moment so far in your career, or would you say your best performance was? Uh, I don't know about my best performance, but uh, I think uh, the under twenty uh, World Juniors was uh, was definitely the the biggest and uh, probably like the the coolest experience I've had so far in hockey. Yeah, what? Yeah, for me, go go ahead, Mike. No, I was just going to say, yeah, for us too, it's uh, me and Ryan. Like, we wait every year for Boxing Day because the World Juniors is the best hockey there is. Like, it's so fun to watch you guys. Every country, yeah. we watch every game. It's awesome. Yeah, and I mean, anything can happen. And I'm just, you know, it's after the round robin, it's just uh, one game. And, you know, it's just super exciting to play it. And uh, back when I was younger, I obviously used to watch it. Yep. Do you have a favorite sports movie? Uh, I, won't, I don't know if I have a favorite sports movie, but uh, favorite sports series is definitely The Last Dance. Okay. Ever, well, we get that a lot. That's a great one. We get that a lot. Yeah. Uh, what color is your stick tape, and what, what's your favorite Gatorade color? My favorite Gatorade color is uh, grape. Okay. Yeah. Grape Gatorade. I love grape Gatorade. They don't have it here in Finland, but when I was, was in uh, – at the World Under 18s, they they had it there, so I, I definitely drank quite a few of those. But uh, my favorite, what was the other question? Uh, stick color, stick tape color. Stick tape, oh, definitely white. I think uh, I've been going with white for for quite a while now. Do most most of the Finns probably use white, right? And it looks good with their jersey. Uh, I don't know if it's a Finnish thing or what it is, but. Uh, yeah, I think quite a quite a few of us do. Do you have any hidden talents? I can juggle. Oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. Three balls, but yeah. I haven't got four down yet. It's better than what I could do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't juggle your- anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you say your go-to song is before games, or is there one song that kind of pumps you up before games? Uh, that's a tough one. I before games, I don't really listen to my own music. I just uh, whatever's playing in the dressing room, I just listen to it, and I kind of like to talk to the guys and uh, stuff. So I like to be social before the game. So like, I'm not a guy who has his headphones on or anything. So okay, it's tough to say what I, what I'd listen to before the game if I listen to it myself. And if you could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would you want to go? Uh, Florida. I love Florida. We used to spend a lot of, a lot of time there back when I was younger, and uh, I actually haven't been able to go there for a few years, so i definitely like to go back there. Hey, Mike, hit him, uh, with, the other, hit him yeah. with the other draft question. Okay. Um, if there's a $100 bill at the bottom of a toilet or a $20 bill on the counter, which one are you going for? I'm going for the 100 Good. That's Atta right. Boy. And no, the scouts are funny. no, if the it's scouts, the problem in the toilet, I'll take it. That's right. The scouts want to hear that because the scouts want to hear you saying that you're willing to get your hands dirty. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you got to work for work for what you get. That's right. And what's one challenge you've come across in getting to where you are today? I mean, I think you come across a lot of challenges. I mean. There's times where things don't go your way. I mean, uh, last year was a, was a pretty tough year for, for us as a team, and obviously it, it makes it hard for you personally because, uh, you know, we were we were last in the league. We were losing a lot, and uh, I don't think there's anyone that hates losing as much as me. So uh, last year was, was a tough year, but uh, obviously there were still still good times and in the tough times and like uh like i said i try to go to the rink every day and just improve as much as i can i think that's just the most important thing especially at this age so 
you know, it's tough, but uh, you just got to battle through it. Absolutely. And uh, have you had a chance to skate with Jimmy, cousin Jimmy, lately? Uh, not lately. We used to we used to play mini sticks a lot in Grandma's basement, but uh, <laughs> I haven't seen him for a while. I mean, I think uh, the COVID's made everything pretty pretty tough for me to go there. I couldn't go there last summer, and I probably can't go there this summer either. So, uh, yeah, it's it's I haven't seen him for a while. What's one lesson that a coach has taught you that sticks out? One lesson, uh, I'd say uh, my dad has a good one. He said that, uh, I mean, he's kind of my coach. He coached me back when I was younger. So uh, I'd say every shift is an opportunity to do something great. And uh, if nothing great happens that shift, then ne the next one's a other opportunity. So all you can do is just concentrate on your next shift and your, your next moment. And that's the big thing, I think. That's a good. That's a good one. I haven't heard that one before. I like it. No, and as he was saying that, I was thinking about my dating life. Every time I get told no on the first one, I got to come back and hit him with the try it again on the next one. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> uh, if a scouter GM were to ask, uh, what does Brad bring to the table, or describe your game? I uh, I think I'd like to say I'd like to show an example and just try to do everything as good as I can do it and uh, leadership at the same time and then on the ice I'd say speed and uh, an offensive game like to be pretty creative and uh, but also a guy who if if is put in the position uh, I can play defense and and uh, you know if we're a goal ahead I can lock down the zone or whatever so. Uh, I think uh, I like to be a pretty responsible guy who can who can pe be put out there whenever. Hey Ryan, he'd look pretty good in Canucks colors, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah, he would. Of course, he would. of course. <laughs> You're also gonna look good going anywhere. But the uh, if if you had a dream venue to play in one day, is there one that sticks out that you would want to play in one day? A dream team? Or no, no, a dream, a dream venue like the building, the ice rink. Oh, dream building. You know, I haven't seen all of them, so it's it's really hard to say. I, I have to see them all live and then decide. But, you know, I think, you know, they're all NHL ranks. And, uh, you know, that's been my dream dream since I was very little. So uh, I don't think it really matters. No, exactly. And what about sports franchise? Do you have a favorite sports team in any sport? Not really, no. I mean, right now I follow a lot of the New York Islanders because because uh, my uncle coaches there, so uh, I'm definitely cheering for them right now. But uh, not not specifically. Hey, I just did that yesterday in our playoff pool. In our playoff pool, I went and picked a lot of Islanders. Oh, really? Yeah, because of Barzell, I want the Stanley Cup to come home to our town. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hope they win too. Yeah, yeah, we have too. we have a we have a couple chances this year for a cup coming here. We got Dante Fabro, Johansson. They're from Port Moody. There's a couple oh, chances yeah. the cup comes home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, what's it like playing with uh, What's it like playing with the Ratty brothers? Uh, yeah, it's it's great. I mean, uh, they're they're two really really hardworking kids. I mean, I don't think I've I've met too many kids who work harder than them. And I mean. Uh, yeah, it's it's great playing with them. What do you want to your junior life to be remembered as? Because you're killing it right now. You're you're doing awesome. I think uh, you know that's another thing that that my dad's taught me. I mean, uh, obviously it's good to do good when you're young and stuff, but. Uh, he said that uh, it doesn't really matter how good you are when you're when you're 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It, it really matters how good you are when you're when you're 25 because if you're not good enough, then you're you're not playing anywhere. So uh, that's definitely something I've I've remembered, and uh, you know that's just something something to go by. And just, you know, like I've said many times in this interview, you know, just. Go, go to the rink every day, have fun, try to get as much better as you can, and uh, I think the results will come. 
Do you have a favorite piece of sports memorabilia or something that you collected uh, so far in your career? Like maybe uh, your first po- first pocket, first gold pocket, the World Juniors. I don't, I don't know. I'm just giving an example. Uh, I'd say the bronze medal from the World Juniors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, that's, that's awesome. Good. Yeah. Are you into collecting stuff? Because as your career goes, we interview a lot of old older guys that have already retired, and they always say that they wish they saved the things. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a big collector, but I mean, I keep everything we win or I win, obviously. I mean, yeah. it'll, it'll probably be nice to, to remember that stuff when you're older and stuff, but uh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have any like uh closet for it or whatever but uh, yeah, yeah. no i i keep all the stuff for sure and how important is the athlete's public image like when they post stuff on instagram do you think oh i think it's definitely really important i mean i don't i try not to post too much i mean yeah you know yeah. like uh just kind of keep it low key and uh, private to yourself most of your life is, I think that's the best thing. But uh, you know, if there's there's something fun to post or you win something, yeah, I definitely definitely post it. But uh, I wouldn't say that uh, I live on social media or anything. I I just I try not to be on there too much, and uh, you know, it's just try to try to live life instead of being posting everything you do, you know? Yeah. That's good mentality. That's good mentality to have for sure. It, and all the good, sh- you got to put all the stuff on Snapchat. That's the stuff. That, that's where nobody can see. That's where your friends can see on Snapchat. And then your Instagram yeah. is where people can see it. Yeah. I mean, I, I have Snapchat too, but, uh, you know, I'm, I, would, I try to try to not be on my phone too much. Uh, an hour a day is good enough. I think, uh, okay. You know, if you're stuck there all the time, then then you're not you're not really really living your real life. You're just kind of living a social media life. And uh, I agree. I agree. That's good. That's good. That's a good mindset. It is. That's, a lot of yeah, a lot of kids, a lot of young guys don't have that nowadays. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, like uh, it's just just not not my thing i mean sometimes when when you're bored or something it's it's nice to have it and obviously if you want to know what's going on nowadays you you kind of need to have it but you you can't overdo it i mean definitely as a hockey player i mean i don't think it's good for your eyes or good for for anything if you're staring at your phone for three four hours a day yeah no agree 100 percent and uh being re- being recognized, I'm sure people have recognized you and uh, asked you for an autograph and stuff like that in public. Uh, how do you feel about that? I mean, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, anyone, anyone who I obviously like, uh, if that's the direction you're going, and the more you get recognized, the better it is. I mean, then you know you're you're going in the right direction. So uh, definitely doesn't doesn't bother me. That's awesome. I, shoot, I had a question I forgot. Mike, shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you hit me with that one now. I got um, Do you have any nicknames, by the way? Uh, I, well, it's actually weird because I think, uh, like, Finnish people don't really know how to say Brad. Okay. Yeah. So they say, they say Braddy. I don't even know how to say it in Finnish myself, but it's like Braddy. Yeah, I think it's Braddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good comment. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, what do you think makes a good captain? Uh, I think uh, you know, there's different kinds of captains. Uh, you can, you can. I'd like to, if I was a captain, I'd like to see myself as uh, you know, showing example and leading on the ice, and you know. I'm. I like to talk to guys, but I'm not the loudest guy in the dressing room. So uh, there's many things that can that can make a good captain. But if I was a captain, I definitely just uh, lead by example and by doing everything perfect in practice and off the ice and stuff. So uh, I think that's what makes a really good captain. Good answer. Yeah, definitely. 
Uh, Brad, uh, I just want to thank you very much uh, for taking the time for us today and coming on and chat with us. We've been big fans of you for a long time, and we're going to continue to be fans for the rest of your career now. Um, thanks for taking the time for us. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. If you're looking for a mug, perhaps a hoodie, head on over to IOnlyTouchGreatness.com. Looking for the most beers on tap? Great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B. Pub. We got the best beers, steaks, chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B. Pub. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, sent you.